Hello students, how are you all? Hope you are all doing very well. Let us start today's class with a beautiful quote by great scientist Albert Einstein. Einstein said, education is not the learning of facts but the training of the mind to think. So student, if you know how to think, then half of your task is done. If you know how to think, then the rest of the task will be done very easily. Students, you will start a new chapter today. The chapter 6 and title of the chapter is How Things Change. Students, our age changes with time and we also change with time. Our height, weight, muscle, everything changes with time. Now when we buy a new object, it looks very fine and shiny, but after a few days, what happens? The shine of this object disappears, and also the object did not work properly as it is working now. So in this way, we change many chains around us. The iron object start to rust if we keep it carelessly for a long time. Look at this chain, this iron chain and it starts to rust after a few days. Look at this water cycle. The water evaporates, becomes cloud and again falls back as rain. Look at this glass of ice, it will melt after a few minutes. So today, We'll discuss different types of changes that occur around us. First of all, we'll discuss the slow and fast changes. Students, how much time does it take to rust iron? It takes a long time. So rusting is a slow process. But if we heat ice, it melts quickly. So melting is a is a quick process so rusting is a slow change and melting is a quick change in this regard next we'll discuss reversible and irreversible change students imagine if you make an omelet from an egg can you again convert the omelet into egg no, we cannot convert the omelet into egg. So this change cannot be reversed. So this is called an irreversible change. Again, if you burn wood, we will not get back the wood again. So burning of wood is also an irreversible change. So students, we can see that uh, the changes which cannot be reversed are called irreversible changes. Now if you put some weight on a spring, then the spring will be elongated. Now if you remove the weight, then the spring will get back its original shape. So this process is a reversible process. Now, students, if you keep ice at the room temperature, it will melt into liquid water. Now, again, if you keep liquid water in the refrigerator, it will become ice. So, melting of ice is a reversible process because we can get back ice again or we can reverse this process. So the changes which can be reversed are called 
reversible changes. So students, today we have learned that things around us keeps changing and some changes are slow and some changes are very quick. And some changes are reversible changes and some are irreversible changes. Hope you have understood today's lesson. Students, the time is very precious, so utilize your precious time. So stay healthy and uh, study well. Thank you for paying attention.